This is Veterans in Focus, sponsored by Republic of Texas Foundation Repair. One of our biggest goals with Veterans in Focus is making sure you know where to go or you know who to call if you need any help. So today, we're introducing you to Andy Lopez Jr. He's a U.S. Army veteran who's committed to serving veterans and their families in Refugio. And this is the first time he's in the spotlight for Veterans in Focus. Everything happens for a reason, Michelle, in life, good or bad, you know, whatever it may be, things present themselves. You know, I have a strong belief in the man upstairs, and I think he opens and closes doors for a reason. One door that's now open for veterans in need is the one at the Refugio County Courthouse. Andrew Lopez Jr., who many refer to as Andy, is the county's veteran service officer. The position was vacant for several months before he took over about a year ago. A buddy of mine, he was was also in law enforcement. When he retired from law enforcement, he went into being a veteran service officer. And I was so impressed with, impressed with the way he carried himself and how he did this job. I, I told him one I told him, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing that one day. Before he jumped into this seat, Lopez was in law enforcement for about 40 years. His career choice was inspired by one of his peers. Ricky Garcia, my buddy, my, my uh, high school friend, and my voice is breaking up a little bit because uh, he was, he, his, uh, his life ended in, you know, in the early stages of uh, being a teenager. And that's always impacted. In 1983, Lopez became a trooper for the Department of Public Safety. He was a Texas Ranger for 13 years, and in 2010, he became the chief of police for Refugio. He got his start when he served in the Army. Lopez was a military police officer who even became a paratrooper. Back then, there was only two airborne MP companies, and they were both at Fort Bragg, and I was stationed at the 118th Airborne MP Company there at Fort Bragg. The Army veteran is now focused on helping others who served. And it's been a privilege to, to even be in this position, to be honest with you, man, because of the fact that here I have the unique opportunity to, to meet and talk to numerous veterans. County veteran service officers are trained to provide assistance to veterans, their dependents, and survivors. They inform veterans of services and benefits they could qualify for. Brother or sister, come on over. We're here for you, all of us, all VSOs. We want to help our veterans. They're deserving of it, Michelle. They provide that blanket of security for us in America so that we can live these lives that we're, they're, that we're living. In the future, Lopez tells me he also hopes to be more involved in veteran community events. He will be participating in Chris Six News Flag for a Flag event. Cool. <laughs> this will be you know, the one that I will be physically and intimately involved with. As you may know, Chris Six News and Community Partners host Flag for a Flag, exchanging community members' old flags with a new one, just in time to fly it with pride on June 14th, National Flag Day. The event is expanding with several locations throughout the coastal bend, and this year will be a first for Refugio. I think that's going to be a, a, a welcome event in this county. That's because people like Lopez are proud to display the red, white, and blue. That means our freedom, our families, uh, America, you know, what do we stand for, those especially that serve our, our country to whatever extent, it means the world. Alrighty, folks, keep in mind, Flag for a Flag is on June 12th. We are asking you to please hold on to your excitement and be patient because flags will not be available for exchange until that specific date. Specific hours and locations of the event will be released closer to June 12th. And as you know, you can stay updated right here on Chris Six News on air and online. For this week's Veterans in Focus, I'm Michelle Lorenzo.